The stolen election is one of the pillars of MAGA. It was a fuse for January the 6th. It is the froth that bubbles through the teeth of Trump's villagers. And it is the cornerstone of Trump's lawlessness. But what if it was all a lie? What if it was a scam? What if it was never true? Now, I'm aware that saying these words is heresy and blasphemy against the religion of Trump, against MAGA, and even amongst most evangelical Christians who abide in the United States. Because by now, two years later, most people believe that it was stolen. I even said in the past that it looks like there are some suspicious things that have taken place. However, we now have a smoking gun that reveals that very fact. We have an audio admission, a confession by Steve Bannon, that tells us that Donald Trump's plan the entire time in the 2020 election was to claim that it was stolen. This was going to be an operation that was going to be a big lie, and Steve Bannon laid all the cards out. Their plan was to tell everybody that it was stolen, and as a result, Trump would stay in office. And in the audio that has been released, Bannon even goes so far as admitting that after this night, Trump would never have to worry about another election because he was going to be there forever. He was going to become the king of America, and he was going to stay. And what Trump's going to do is just declare victory, right? He's going to declare victory. But that doesn't mean he's the winner. He's just going to say he's the winner. The Democrats, more of our people vote early that count. Theirs voted mail. And so they're going to have a natural disadvantage, and Trump's going to take advantage of it. That's our strategy. He's going to declare himself a winner. So when you wake up Wednesday morning, it's going to be a firestorm. We're going to have Antifa crazy, the media crazy, the courts are crazy, and Trump's going to be sitting there mocking, tweet, <laughs> you lose. <laughs> I'm the winner. I'm the king. And he'll be all over, he'll be, he'll be going, where's Hunter? Is Hunter on a crack pipe? I mean, no, he'll be, because then it doesn't matter. Remember, here's the thing. After then, Trump never has to go to a voter again. He's, he's done his last election. Oh, he's going to be off the chain. He's going to be crazy. Also, also if, Trump is, if Trump is losing by 10 or 11 o'clock at night, it's going to be even crazier. Because he, no, because no, he's going to sit right there and say they stole it. I'm yeah, going to court, uh, agree. I'm directing the attorney general. Hmm. To shut down all ballot places in all 50 states, it's going to be no. He's not going out easy. So there you go, folks. Some of you might even be asking if it's possible that this entire narrative was never true. But the evangelical Christians who support Trump are absolutely certain that it was stolen. Why are they certain? They were told it was stolen. Now, I myself also wondered if it was stolen because I kept hearing it. But then something happened, and that thing that happened was a lawsuit. Now, while Trump was proclaiming that the election was stolen, after January the 6th, he kept proclaiming it and he recruited a number of voices to help him with that operation. Mike Lindell, the pillow guy, Sidney Powell, the attorney, Rudy Giuliani, and of course Steve Bannon. There were a number of individuals who kept spreading that information. Now, before any of us say, well, that's true, Nathan, because it was stolen. That's why they did it. However, there was one cog in the wheel. Now, for those who were spreading the accusation that the election was stolen, they also went further and said that it was because of Dominion voting machines that it was stolen and that Dominion had a lot of back doors. The machines were hackable. In addition, there were ballot cards that were thrown in garbage cans. And there was a lot of things that were said. Now, I understand that there's always corruption here and there throughout the country. But it is up to election officials, precinct officials, the Secretary of State to try to do their job in every locale to make sure that their election is not fraudulent. But the accusation continued after the election. And then when January 6th came, that's what fueled their anger. They were outraged that America had a faulty election and the vote was given to Biden. So now we had a situation where there were two camps. One camp said, no, it wasn't. And another camp said, yes, it was because... Trump's people kept spreading that information and then they went on Fox News and Sidney Powell was a regular guest on Tucker Carlson as well as some of the other talking heads, the uh, personalities, and she went on there regularly saying that it was stolen. So did Mike Lindell. And they kept bringing up Dominion voting machines as the guilty one. So Dominion voting machines then decided to sue. 
Dominion said, you're destroying our reputation, so we're going to sue Fox News. We're going to sue the pillow guy, Rudy Giuliani, Steve Bannon, Susan Powell. And you see, folks, in order for Dominion to sue these people and these corporations, they were taking a chance. Because if they were going to sue, that means that there was then going to be a forum for the evidence of a stolen election to be brought to the light. And then Fox News could bring it to the light and say, oh, you're going to sue us, Dominion? Great. We're going to show the world that you did cause a stolen election. Fox News should have been happy about it. But that's not what happened. Because it turned out that Fox had no evidence. Susan Powell and Mike Lindell had no evidence that they could supply in court as an exhibit. And because they didn't supply the evidence that they claimed they had, Fox News lost the case to the tune of $787 million. And after all of this came out, Dominion also was suing Tucker Carlson and some of the personalities. They also had the opportunity to show their proof. Now, folks, think about it. Tucker Carlson, during the lawsuit, he wasn't able to bring anything out. However, the thing that did come out was Fox News had to release the emails of Tucker Carlson and some of their other personalities, Sean Hannity and others. And in those emails, Tucker Carlson admitted in emails that Susan Powell was making it all up. And these things were taking place behind the scenes. But when the camera turned on, he stated that it was stolen. So why did they do this? It was all about money. It was because Trump's followers demand that there be a platform for Trump to have so that he can continue his lies. At the time, he was using Fox News. Since then, Fox was exposed as a bunch of liars. Trump turned on him, and then he went to OEM and some of those other ones. But Fox News was not able to prove that it was stolen. Now, at this point, we need to make a decision, folks. We need to use our brains. Because if there's anyone that would still claim it was stolen, and Fox knew it was, but they just didn't want to say it. They didn't want to reveal it. It's very easy to say that, but the Benjamins don't back it up. Because Fox lost and was penalized by almost a billion dollars for maintaining that narrative. So we have a decision to make, folks. If Fox News could not provide the proof that the election was stolen and instead elected to pay, what that tells us is that there is no evidence that it was stolen. Now, I know that some of you are listening are saying, no, but what about this? What about that? And the anecdotal stories that we all heard. And yeah, I heard a lot of them. I heard many of them. They made secondary ballot counts. And then third, ballot counts. But still, the numbers said that Trump lost. So all of these people who were spreading the narrative that it was stolen were penalized because they couldn't prove it. And at this point, it looks like this is the big lie that was chosen by Trump and his people to destroy elections and remove this pillar of democracy. So there you go, folks. Some of you might even be asking if it's possible that this entire narrative was never true. But the evangelical Christians who support Trump are absolutely certain that it was stolen. Why are they certain? They were told it was stolen. Now, I myself also wondered if it was stolen because I kept